Hello guys, Cameron here from Inventor Inc. I'm here with the next episode, segment, you know, whatever you want to call it, of Inventor Inc. Talks. So, a few weeks ago, there was a wee Twitter poll, you know, just asking what would you like to see on the next episode of Inventor Inc. Talks. And uh, the winner of that poll was uh, YouTube. So, this the topic of this video is on YouTube. Exactly what's it on? Let's just say, you know, the topic of this video is about starting up a YouTube channel. And before, you know, the co before you uh, say anything in the comments or whatever, I know, in a sense, there's, I'm in no position to tell you how to start up a YouTube channel, what to do to start up a YouTube channel, you know, how to be successful on YouTube. But this isn't about how to be successful on YouTube. This is the basic stuff you want to think about, the basic stuff you want to get figured out first before you set up a YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. So, I've, my, I've been doing YouTube for a few years now. Um, had multiple different channels, had multiple different ideas, and um, my final idea, the final place I've came to is with Inventor Inc. With the channel, the plan is to have interviews, short films, short series, videos like this, vlogs, update videos, you know, behind the scenes footage, like quite a lot of stuff. Let's just say quite a lot of stuff instead of trying to explain it all. Um, so yeah, but I mean, I've given myself a wide variety of content I can make, content I can produce, you know, content that doesn't take too long to produce and content that might take weeks of planning, months of planning to produce, you know. It's, I mean, I've got so many plans, so many options available to me, you know, and that's the first thing you need to start thinking about if you think, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel. If you're starting, if you're thinking about starting up a YouTube channel, you need to first of all find what type of videos you'd make, you know, whether they're gaming, whether they're vlogging, you know, action, you know, educational, you know, whatever topic, news, you know, there's a lot of channels out there that do a lot of different things. Um, and I mean, the first thing to do is find a topic that you enjoy, you know, whether it's gaming, vlogging, creating, you know, find that topic and then just work on that topic. You know, if you like gaming, set up a gaming channel. You like creating short films, short series, then do that, you know, create that, you know, you know, have a plan first of what content you're going to make, you know, I mean, it's like, yeah, I've got a plan of this channel be kind of media based, you know, and that's the plan I'm going to stick with. But at the same time, I've given myself a lot of options and that's what you should do. If you're setting up a YouTube channel, have a plan, have a setup, you know, but always also be willing to be flexible, be willing to evolve the channel where it needs to evolve, change the channel where it needs to change, you know, don't just put all your eggs in one basket, don't just put all your time and effort onto doing one thing, do very things, you know, to keep the audience interested, to, you know, help build your audience, you know, just don't, like, have a schedule or don't have a schedule, it's completely up to you, you know, you know, Depending on what you do depends on what type of audience you'll have and I mean depending on what you want from your channel depends on the things you have to do, you know. You know, it's, it's not, at first, you know, when you first start off just do videos for you, do videos that you enjoy doing. But as you get an audience, you know, find out what the audience wants, find out what the audience would like to see. And then give the audience that, you know, if you want to be more based on like caring about your audience, caring about what your audience thinks, you know. But it's always best if you've started off a YouTube channel to do, you know, do what you enjoy. Do the videos for you. Once you have an audience, start doing the videos for your audience. Start taking into consideration what your audience wants, you know. Don't let any issues you've heard about YouTube right now stop you from doing YouTube, you know. Once you've got YouTube sorted, once you have an audience, then you can start thinking about everything else. If you're just in YouTube for the money, then, you know, it'll take you ages to get to where you want to be. You know, just if you're doing it as a hobby, for fun, for experience, then just do it that way and, and just get on with it, you know. That's roughly everything I've got to mention in this video. So, you know, links to everything will be in the description below. And, you know, you know, 
links to the social media will be in the description below. You know, there might be another poll on Twitter about what you would want to see next in the next episode of Mentoring Talks. So yeah, if you've liked this video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, then subscribe. You know, do whatever the hell you want to do, right? Um, and as I said, everything you need to know about social media is down below. And yeah, this is Cameron signing off. See you guys in the next video. Bye.